Smells good. Mm -hmm. Looks good. I'm telling you, I'm excited. Can I eat it? Let's go ahead. There's a, there's a final step you have to do. To thicken it up, cornstarch and water. Two tablespoons of each. That'll lighten the color up a bit. Let's mix that up there and let it thicken up. Sesame oil. Go ahead. One. Two. I'm telling you what. That looks good. Looks good. Smells looks pretty good. good too. Now we've already cut some tofu, but basically we're gonna take that and cut it into pieces about like this. Well, about four ounces. And just take these and cut them up in little squares. Like such, you want it to be perfect. I'm telling you what, anything that's out there, you can make yourself. Now, one little thing that you can do, if you like the taste, I think it adds, you, you don't want to overdo it. Just a little Worcestershire sauce, boom, that much. You know what, we could let this cook for a long time, let everything get, I want the crunch. I like crunch. I like the consistency. I like crunch. Let's dip a bowl up here. Ooh, lots of chunks. Let's take just a little bit of green onion. Just a little bit right there. You talk about a spoon full of texture and flavor. You know, it did yourself again. That's amazing. Mmm. Cleans your sinuses That's up. That's really good. Mmm. How about mm. we can eat that mm. whole pot? And it's probably a good time to tell you about our Facebook page, Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen. Like it? Check out, see where we're going, what we're doing. Also, visit our website, timfarmerscountrykitchen.com. Look at our shows on YouTube there. We've done a bunch of them. Try some grub you've never tried before. There's my chocolate that Kelly got me. Yeah? Look, those are tooth marks. Who did that? I don't know. Hey, hey, hey. Do you I know all the benefits? I know. A dark chocolate. That's why I'm making this tonight, because this will be so good for you. This is how you top this mm. off. <laughs> so, would you still love me if I look like this all the time? I do. Would you, you give me a kiss? Uh -huh. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. That's Isn't nice. That you look good. Thank you very much. <laughs> I absolutely love chocolate. And it is good and for you. Yes. So, well, I'll see what you've done again with cream cheese and the butter. So we start with butter, correct? Yeah, we're going to melt a stick of butter. So what you're saying is this is kind of kind of a cookie dough. It's just a cookie type dough type consistency. Yeah, you can call it. We make it a dip. Dip. You can call it a dip or a dessert or. All right, it's looking like you're kind of getting there. I'm gonna go ahead and add some brown sugar for you. How much brown sugar? That is a third of a cup. A third of a cup. And as soon as that's all melted in, we're gonna shut it off and add some vanilla. All right, that's looking pretty good. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and let's turn that off, and we're gonna pull it off the burner and add a teaspoon of vanilla. All right. Is that a teaspoon? Mm-hmm. About a teaspoon. All right. I got a package of cream cheese. Cream I've cheese. Let it kind of get to be room temperature. All right. We're gonna go ahead and use our mixer to. All right. We got a cup of powdered sugar. Let's slowly add in. That's healthy. All right. If you want to slowly start pouring that in for me. Just add in. You want all of it. How simple that was? You just keep on putting it in your mouth, right? That's right. I'm gonna go ahead and take this out of here. I've got three quarters of a cup of chocolate chips. Okay. I'm just can't gonna go, mix it in. Wrong. See how it's kind of looking like cookie dough here? Oh yeah. And I got pretzels because I thought kind of a salty. Don't salty you think that'd be good? Be sweet, yeah, yeah, I want to dip a pretzel into my cookie dough if I'm gonna eat it raw. What do you think? Oh man. How can I resist that? Uh, so it's kind of like eating raw cookie dough but without the egg, right? So it's not bad for you. And this is where your chocolate comes in. Can I use it? Just scrape up. This is the end I'm chewing on, so you can do that. I can end. use the other end. Let's just make it look yeah, pretty. It needs more chocolate. Yeah. I thought it might look, make it look pretty. You sure we don't want to melt a stick of butter over top of that? We could. Oh, my, stop. Now, is that cute? Oh, I got to have some of this. There's our dip. Our look at that. So it's a, but it's a cookie dough dip. Do what you think. Wow. Isn't that good with the salt? Oh, my. Meanwhile, at this point, it's pretty much just all about good times, good friends, good eats. That's a good eats right there.
Hello and welcome to Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen. Nikki and I have been cooking for years and years. This unscripted show about unscripted country living. That's right. We've had so many people ask us, how do we get a cookbook? How do you do that? TimFarmer'sCountryKitchen.com. Take a look at our store. We have all kinds of stuff on there. Now people have asked for more and more stuff. So we've got hats. We've got the aprons that we use. We've got the Salt Rocks cooking plates. How-to DVDs. And very soon, cookbook number two is coming. Yay. Now, we started our cooking show in 2012 and we had so many people ask us, they wanted those recipes from your grandparents, my grandparents, people right. we run across in the woods or on the waters mm -hmm. over the years. And so we came up with this first cookbook and those books have gone out all over the world. Say cookbook it. two is coming out. TimFarmersCountryKitchen.com, visit our store, get your cookbook. We'll be glad to share our kitchen with you and our recipes from many, many years passed down.